RuPaul, RuPaul, legendary legacy as a black LGBTQ icon. Once upon a time, there was a little black girl from the Brewster Streets Project mm -hmm. of Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> However, picture it. 1993, <laughs> those words were spoken by the black queen of comedy, LaWanda Page, stated in a song that will bring in an aspiring young actor and performer out the obscurity and into the spotlight. Y'all know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about none other than Rue Paul Charles. We'll go from going from gender bending frontman of a rock group called We We Pole to a drag superstar seemingly overnight. RuPaul has gone from middle-class club performer to one of the most prominent black entertainers in America and has brought LGBTQIA issues and drag into pop culture. Which, um... Yeah, yeah. She problematic, yeah. but she did do that. Oh, so yeah. problematic. <laughs> all the way. All the way, Paul, but she's unapologetic. about it. Problematic. No, she's, <laughs> she's unapologetic. <laughs> and she brought yeah. trans, especially trans women of color, into pop culture. I remember yeah. watching Sister Sister in the episode that she was on. That was a oh, show yes. about a black family that was specifically targeting black audiences, black young girls. And there's RuPaul, if I'm not mistaken, as a either shop, shop owner or owner, shop assistant. Yeah. Yeah, shop Sassy owner. as heck, going up against the mother yeah. and you live for it. Like literally one of the original club kids RuPaul has yeah. brought so much. We're yeah. not going to talk about we that. We forgot about that. Yeah, she's back in the 90s. Oh, oh yeah. What exactly. club kids? The club kids. Don't you? Okay. So, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, early 80s, early 90s, there was this specific underground gay and drag club culture in New York City. So it's not only in New York and Boston. I was, I was, I was living it. Ooh, there, yes, right there. there. Oh, yes. We got to tell you. We got to tell you. We got to tell you. We New York head. club scene, but oh. yeah, it's like, go out late night, dress up over the top. Crazy. But it was like, okay, you're dressing up, but not like for you're going to drag and do a performance. Just the yeah, street, just the out. world is the performance. And, and a lot of drugs, too. <laughs> but, oh, that's, uh, that's not even... But that's another, that was another story. <laughs> story. <laughs> we don't joke. No, we're not doing that. Right we not no, good. but definitely, but, I think it, uh, RuPaul has so many yeah. layers. And yeah. some of them are not the best, but there's a lot of them that are pretty good layers that she has opened doors for so many people. Yes. And I think Saborni touched on it with Carvel's experience. It's just amazing how many um, different decades of life you can see RuPaul in. You know, like you talked about the Club Kid era where, again, um, Carvel was in and then the um, time when she was on Sister Sister. I remember when she had her own late night talk show on VH1. She did? You know? yeah. yeah, she had a VH1. She had her own, yeah. when, when drag yeah. wasn't yeah. even, wasn't before. even talk, talk, about, talked about, talked about she it. had this on I VH1, know. you know, yeah. so there's just so many layers of her. And as much as a problem this cisgender queen could be is as good as a person she has been to our community. So sometimes it's those problematic people that we have to, some they take so we take them with a large grain of salt. You know. I mean, like Ellen, she be problematic, but, <laughs> but we got, she did for lesbian culture. Yeah, so exactly, we, exactly. Yeah. And it, uh, the thing is, all about growth, right, Edric? All about growth. Edric Some like things it. ain't forgivable. I'm sorry. I, you, I, you got that I, right. I, I'm, I'm, all I'm, honesty, I'm a Christian. You got that I right. believe in Jesus, but I'm more related to Paul and Peter than anything. <laughs> <laughs> LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.